What's up, good people? Safari Trends to again, bringing you the after sort information absolutely free. I believe wherever you're watching from, all has been good. Well, today let's discuss about a great tips that can lead you to your success at the interview date at your very designated consulate. So, straight to the point. Let's go through it. Number one, once you receive your second notification letter and you've done your medicals, you've gone through uh, your medical interview and your date for the interview has come at the consulate, make sure you arrive there at least 15 minutes before your interview time. Remember, don't go too early because uh, the U.S. Embassy, just like the case for Nairobi, they do not have designated areas that they're going to put you to keep waiting at. Remember, the embassies are uh, busy and uh, more secure when it comes to uh, things dealing with the security and uh, uh, terror issues. So, I read there at least 15 minutes before your interview time. Those 15 minutes will get you through the gates, the screen details from the gate number one, all through to the main building. So, tip number two that will help you as you go for your interview, make sure you have all your documents. I mean, your first notification letter, that you won the DV lottery, your second notification letter, your DS-260, fill the form, and all your qualifications, everything that you filled in the DS-260 that you possess. And make sure if you have a family, like for the marriage certificate, you have the certified copy one. The certified copy is not the regular certificate that they give you when you do either civil or marriage. Remember the certified copy also comes from Sharia House for those in Kenya. So you will need to process that one. It's longer, a little longer. Uh, and uh, I can say it's um, a vertical. It's horizontal in size and it's blue in color, so it's a little bigger than the regular ones. So the next thing, make sure you are educational qualifications. Also, you get those certified copies, and those ones you can go through the NEC offices. I believe they're more from a teleposter a towers, and now they are. Uh, their offices, the main uh, neck offices in South Sea. So once you process that one and you have everything in order, make sure they send them to the embassy where you will be interviewed and you carry the originals with you, the certified copies with you to the embassy. The next tip, make sure you carry your required fee the visa fee and cash. The cashiers there, they take in cash. So make sure you have those dollars or kind of shillings and cash with you. But uh, the fee is uh, commensurate to the dollar rate. So the next, next thing you will need is um, make sure you are derivative beneficiaries that you filled as your family, they accompany you to the interview on that very date. So go there with your derivative beneficiaries. Don't leave anybody back home because maybe you lacked money or anything. So go to the embassy and conduct your interview with your derivative beneficiaries with you. The next thing, don't mind a lot about the dress code. As long as you dress decently uh, and business casual, 
so you don't need to look for a best suits to wear you can wear a jeans with a tucked in shirt and good uh, a shoe so you don't need to be worried about the dress code that much as long as it's a business casual Americans don't care about the dress code that much but don't dress skimpy so the next thing be brief and precise or be authentic in giving out your answers when asked by the uh, consulate officers and don't answer what you've not been asked just be calm and composed when the questions are being posed to you remember the DV lottery interviews are very straightforward and the easiest uh, to tackle the questions they're gonna ask you all of them they are, are based on what you feel in the DV uh, on the DS260 so you need not to be worried much about them and uh, the next thing in case you're lacking documentation or your case has been derailed because of lack of documentation and be put on administrative processing that will take about 90 days of the normal administration administrative processing time you will be given a form either yellow or a pink form until you work on those required documents so as soon as you live there make sure you go process those documents and send them to the embassy to expedite your case that does not mean denial and as soon as the embassy gets those documents they will process your case and eventually they will process your case and you will have your visa stamped that is it for for me here today wish you all the best stay put and keep subscribing liking our channel thank you so much